Who deserves the most, uh, most blame, Mego? Is it Mac? Is it Bill Belichick? Is it Robert Kraft? Okay, this is going to sound like an apologist for Mac, but I really do think it's Bill Belichick. I do. You know, the after that first season, when it looked like Mac could at least be a competent starter, he could at least be okay. Like, I think most people at points of that season were like, he's good or he's just okay. And the floor didn't appear like it was going to be lower than just okay. Bill puts him in a position with Patricia and Judge, and what is just, was just a horrible offense. Took away one of his favorite players in Jacoby Myers for Juju Smith-Schuster the next year. He was terrible at finding talent to put around him and retaining that talent around him, not to mention all the psychological warfare that seemingly happened behind the scenes. I'm going to put it on Bill. I'm going to put the blame on Bill. Arkin, I want your answer in a moment, uh, but a couple of names off the board here in NFL free agency. Uh, number one, Josh Jacobs signs with the Green Bay Packers. These running backs are flying around. Well, it's it's weird. It's almost working from the bottom of the list to the top. Pollard is a Titan. Uh, DeAndre Swift is a Bear. Josh Jacobs, I haven't seen financials yet, but he's now with the Green Bay Packers. Uh, Rap Sheet just added in the last minute, Green Bay has worked on a new deal with Aaron Jones, and they were in the market for a new running back, so I don't know what that means for Aaron Jones. Maybe he's available. If you wanted a running back, and the Patriots got to spend money, you're pretty much down to Saquon Barkley and Derrick Henry, unless I'm missing another name in there. I actually might be. Uh, Saquon Barkley, Derrick Henry, maybe I'm missing one more. And so uh, that's the latest there. The other one that does impact the Patriots is Jonah Jackson, a guard from the Lions. Uh, he's getting $51 million, 34 guaranteed to sign with the Rams. How now, many years? Sorry. Three years. Three years. Honey. They just signed uh, another guard, Dotson, the other day. The interior line money is through the roof, right? Uh, Hunter Dickinson re-signing with the Eagles. Lloyd Cushenberry, I've not seen those numbers yet. Does anyone have those numbers? But he's signed in free agency. He's a center. So the interior line numbers are through the roof. And how this impacts the Patriots is Mike and Wenyu is either a guard or a tackle. But if he's a guard and that's how you're going to pay him, these numbers are going up. It's a new floor for Wenyu. And if you're going to pay him as a tackle, and I imagine he wants to be paid as a tackle... Well, that guard number is going to raise the number for tackles as well. So it seems like his number is going up. Again, $51 million, 34 guaranteed for Jonah Jackson to go to the Rams, the second guard they've paid in the last couple of days, Josh Jacobs off the board as well. Uh, so you can jump in on all of that. You have numbers there, Arkan? I see you looking for I do not. Up. I'm looking for them, but I don't see them. I haven't seen them. I don't think they've yeah. been announced yet, to be honest. Uh, what were your feelings on Mac? Uh, my feelings on Mac, and I don't think he did himself any favors, but I have to put it on Bill Belichick as well for the simple fact that you're two years removed from a playoff appearance from Bill Belichick basically being able to dictate the terms of how he wants to finish his time here in New England uh, with a rookie quarterback who he turned around in one year after that Cam Newton year. And instead, here we are two years later and Bill Belichick lost his job. And I believe that he lost his job in large part because of the way he handled Mac Jones. And I don't think that that was a coincidence or you know some sort of unfortunate byproduct of other decisions that got made. The decisions he made impacted Jones directly. Directly. I think everybody who uh, considered hiring him and bringing him in looked at that and thought of that as a reason not to hire him. And I think the Crafts were right to move on from him for that reason. They didn't want to bring in a young quarterback and have Bill ruin him too. And I think that's exactly what happened with Mac Jones. He got ruined by Bill Belichick. Okay, I vote Mac. Shocker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to blame the player. And let me tell you, B Bill deserves his share of the blame. Robert Kraft, I think, deserves his share of the blame. Did Bill try to trade Robert last offseason? We talked about it then. Did you let him? Uh, did Robert want Mac Jones in the first place? So, like, I'm not going to let Robert off the hook, but he's at the bottom of the list. It's between Bill and it's between Mac for me. I've said this a bunch. I decided to dig in on the numbers earlier today. Mac was really good for, like, seven games his rookie year. That seven-game win streak. So, during that seven-game win streak, they were 7-0 and from October of 2021 to December of 2021. Nine touchdowns, two picks. He had a 300-yard game. I'm sorry, two 300-yard games and a three-plus touchdown game. Okay? Two and one. In that seven-game run. The rest of his career, including the Buffalo loss in the postseason, 11-25. and 25, It's a 306 winning percentage. 37 touchdowns, 36 picks. He only had three games with three-plus touchdowns in three years and four 300-plus yard games. He had a good seven-game run. And we all exaggerated what he was. And you thought he was a pro bowler. You thought he was a franchise quarterback. He wasn't. He had a good almost, not even, two-month run. And in those seven games, it includes the game where he threw three times against Buffalo, where Bill was petrified of him. They fell off a cliff at the end of the year. He started two and four as a rookie. He finished losing four out of five. 
He couldn't hang with Buffalo in the playoffs. They were afraid of him in Buffalo in the regular season. He stunk his second year. He was even worse his third year. Can we blame Mac Jones? Can we blame Mac Jones for falling apart and not fighting through what was put on his plate? I think a more competitive player, a better player, would have at least attempted to fight through it. Mac didn't. I blame Mac.